What's up you guys? It's been a minute, but I wanted to come on here really quick and share with you guys what I got from this year's Sephora VIB and Rouge sale. I am or I was VIB until today. I actually hit Rouge. So um, I got 20% off some of this, most of this stuff and then 15 off of like what I bought first to hit Rouge. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. So this first product is the Drunk Elephant La La Retro Cream. You guys, um, if you follow me, you know that I always talk about Drunk Elephant. They are my favorite skincare brand right now because my skin is so sensitive and um, their ingredient list is so good for sensitive skin. So that's what I got first. Um, let me grab my tube over here. It's completely empty. So I was dealing with this without this for two weeks and my skin was dying. But thank goodness I had other things to use. But yeah, so then that was first. Um, I also picked up the Drunk Elephant Proteini. Again, let me pick up this one. This is mine. Empty one. It just emptied like a couple days ago. So I've been using my little mini for my birthday sets. But um, yeah, definitely a must have. Um, I use this one at night and I use this one in the daytime. This one is also a fave and I told myself I wasn't going to rebuy this. I was going to find a dupe but I haven't been able to find anything like this and that's why it's just so good. The Charlotte Tilbury, um, the micro powder. Uh, let me see if I can find my compact. Like, yeah, clearly I use that a lot. It's the Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, uh, yeah, this is one that I've been wanting to try since it came out, but I didn't want to pay a full price for it because I'm cheap, that's how I am. But this one is a small size. So I forgot how much this was. I think it was like $9 or something. So um, I got the color in dark brown. So this one is the Fenty Beauty, another mini, the Pro Filter Powder in Cashew. Um, I've had this one in my cart forever. Um, but yeah, another mini and I just wanted to try it. I feel like I bought a ton of powders this time, but um, yeah, anyways, this one has been in my cart for a while as well. Another mini, this is the Veil, the Hourglass Setting Powder. I heard that this one was really good to use underneath the eye area where I've been um, getting a little increasingly drier. So we're going to try that. And another thing for the eye area is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is one that I've been kind of like on and off eyeing, but I put some on the back of my hand when I was in the store and I just let it kind of set. I wanted to see if it would settle into my fine lines, but it was like super hydrating and brightening like on the back of my hand. So I was like, all right, well, I can always return it if it doesn't work, but um, yeah, I picked that up. And this is a new product, but I also needed this type of product. So I've been wanting to try this Pharmacy Green Clean. People swear by it. And so I did a bunch of swatches of lips on my, um, lipsticks on my hand in store and I used a tiny bit of this to kind of like rub it away. I wanted to see um, if it left a residue, if it left like a smell I didn't like and if it did its job and it did all three things in store so I was super impressed and I cannot wait to try this one out. Um, and the last three things here I have are samples. Um, definitely check if you have the opportunity to check the Sephora store and the Sephora store in JCPenney because they do offer different kinds of rewards for your points um, because everybody hypes it up they had these two hydro these hydro grip primers and I picked up two they were only a hundred points each and I have like a thousand points so um, yeah I really wanted to try this because everybody seems to love it we'll see how it does and I just got a little sample of the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, the sales associate really said she likes it for under the eyes because she saw me picking up the Becca stuff. Um, so I just decided to get a sample because I really don't need another eye cream right now. And I will test this out and let you guys know how it goes as well. So that was it for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys found this helpful. And let me know in the comments if there's any of these things that you guys love or if there's anything that you're picking up that you're really excited about. Um, yeah, let me know.